My experience at the retreat is, uh, is wonderful. It's wonderful to be with, uh, with uh, people who are so talented, so creative, and people who are willing to push the envelope. Well, this uh, retreat is the first step in a long-term vision to introduce communities across the country and other countries as well uh, to the to the wealth of the Pew team. To be able to be inside of these melodies and to be able to uh, connect them to these songs and to, to really learn how to sing them. Um, it feels like such a privilege. It feels like a whole world opening up. Something about Pew Team is just so inviting and creates immediately a feeling of a community. Some people hear about this and they think, you know, it's some beautiful melodies. It's, it's really much, much more than some beautiful melodies. The, mu the melodies happen to be beautiful, and the texts, these holy texts, happen to, have to be very deep and very beautiful. But it's not just about the text and not just about the melody. It's about a new way of relating to prayer. <laughs> So I came to see what's this form that has a very personal aspect but has been integrated into the services. What, what's happening there? What is being communicated? What is being brought in? How can we enrich people's prayer experiences? I come from a Sephardic family. And uh, we sang Putin all the time. In Argentina, we still had time after, after lunch or after dinner. People stay at the table and we sang all kinds of Putin. And not only in Pesach, but also on Shabbat, but even, even when there was any celebration like a wedding or a bar mitzvah, but mitzvah it was actually something that I cherish very much. The thing that I'm most uh surprised and um, impressed by is really how quickly people have been able to just jump into um, these Pew team that they don't know. It's like adding another dimension to the way we do music. It's not only about volume, is not only about speed, it's about a quality that is, that is multidimensional, that, that goes through a landscape of feeling in even one word. Once we were there and we were doing this and, and it came together, 
the musicians and the cantors and the rabbis and the educators and uh, all the participants uh, really going in, in, in deeper and deeper into this material. One thing I really loved was uh, yesterday evening when we had the breakout groups and prepared our own arrangement of a few we had learned. We were suddenly and very soon after we had learned something empowered to create it ourselves. Are you ready? <laughs> Last night when folks were able to present their uh, version of the piyut to everybody else. You know, just to see their faces and their experience of the making the piyut, I mean, that was just, that was awesome. I really enjoyed the, the part where we got to perform as various groups. We get another way to connect to what we were learning. The past couple of days have been extraordinary. I mean, it just blows open the, the doors of this world that I knew very little about. They're so complex and so beautiful and intricate. I thought nothing's going to stay in my head, but I was so surprised that last night I found myself, you know, singing actually a couple of them. We had the musicians in the room and we had the participants as well in the room and I, I felt there was a moment when, the, when these walls, you know, the walls between musicians and participants, between musicians and rabbis and cantors and educators and the rest of us, whomever we might be, that the walls uh, came down. We had a moment during the, uh, the Adon Alam session, one of the early tunes that we did. Um, and it was, it was amazing because you could tell that everybody in the room was really feeling it. And it's those kinds of feelings or those moments that I think um, I'd, I'd want to be able to translate to other people. I experience it as a, a Jewish renaissance. To continue learning more and more of, of this, I mean, if you like poetry, there is nothing like this. What some of the tears at the end were about, it's, it's the sense of potential, the sense of hope that people experienced. And you could see people talking with each other and sharing and the excitement. There was a, there was a fire, you know, there was a fire that was lit. I think we all want to take this fire and, and share it, you know, and, and share it with all those people who are interested. And, um, and then for people to, to use it in whichever way they think is most beneficial uh, to them in their prayer life, in their own communities.